So now we're going to learn how to format an MLA works cited page. What does cite mean? And remember, this is spelled with a C, C-I-T-E. It means to quote a passage, book, or author as evidence for or justification of an argument or statement, especially in a scholarly work. So what it means is you have, you have to prove it. When you say something, prove it. If you get an idea from somewhere and it's directly from there, you must cite it. And remember, you're putting your citations in your parentheses uh, in your MLA document, and I covered that earlier. Um, now, what is a works cited page? According to the MLA style, you have to have a works cited page at the end of your research paper because in the paper, all it'll say is the last name of the author and the page number. So you have to go somewhere to get the full citation or the full place that it's from. And it must correspond to the works cited in your main text. So if you cite it in your text, it must be in your bibliography. If you do not cite it, you don't usually put that there. So here we go. Your works cited page will be a separate page at the end of your research paper. First, we want to check our margins by going to page layout, margins, and yes, it's one inch all the way around. That is correct. Um, the other thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to double click at the top and go to our header. Now, sometimes if your page is, is not showing the header up here, you actually have to go to insert header and edit header, which is kind of at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to press tab twice, type my last name in space. In this case, I have two pages already in my MLA paper. So this will be page three. If you have five pages, it'll be page six. If you have 100 pages, this will be page 101. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to set it to be Times New Roman 12 point. Now, I'm ready to go back into my regular document. I'm going to double click. And there are a couple tricks here. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is do Control A. I'm going to set this to be Times New Roman 12. And I'm going to go to paragraph here and make sure this is set to be zero and double space. Now we'll come back here in a minute, but we want the paragraph spacing to be zero and zero before and after, and our line spacing to be double. I'm going to say OK. Now at this point, I'm going to hit the center button. I'm going to type the word works cited. I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to hit the left alignment button. Now I am going to do my trick called the hanging and dip. This is going to save you a lot of time. I'm going to click my paragraph settings jump arrow. I'm going to go here to my indentation and my special indent is going to be hanging. Hanging means that the first line is out a little bit further than the rest of it and say okay. Now I am going to be able to type this now, you can type your word and then underline, or you can press Control u and suddenly it's highlighting for you. Only thing you have to make sure is that, oh, let me correct the spelling, that I want to do Control u and turn off the spacing. Do not want to underline that period. Fourth edition, New York. The Modern Language Association of America. Boy, you're putting pressure on me here, viewer. <laughs> Five. So I'm going to right click and fix these as well. Now, you'll notice that when I press enter and get ready to type my next swing, it's going to go all the way back over to the left. Um, and we'll talk next about some ways to be able to save some time. Uh, but this is going to be our works cited page that we'll be printing out. Now, we just did it the hard, long way, and it's always good to know how to do that. But there are bibliography makers out there on the web. Um, Easy Bib, Bib Me, Son of Citation Machine, and Microsoft Word even has a bibliography maker inside it. Um, I do recommend using a bibliography maker if you can. It just makes your life so much easier. Now, what you can do is you can go to Son of Citation Machine, for example, and paste in your information, and then copy and paste it into your Word document. And it just does all the spacing for you, and it just saves so much time. So congratulations, you've learned four things. You've learned what it means to cite, why we cite sources, what is a works cited page, and how you can easily generate a bibliography and save time and frustration. 
And remember, if you have any questions, you can always look at your MLA handbook for details.